Good evening, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying your day evening. It is August 12th, 2023. They just moved the camera to look at the back basin. I noticed some of the uh, geysers were a little active and it's been shaking. You remember when um, Hank Heisler, Hessler said that when Yellowstone started having earthquakes of a magnitude 2 that they would get a little concerned. Well, they've been having a. Today, uh, they're not reporting all the earthquakes that have occurred. Of course, we know that. And they often downgrade these earthquakes. Um, they're saying there was a magnitude 2.7 by uh, Kelly, uh, Wyoming. But actually, it was a magnitude 3.2. Yeah, the park is not closed. I don't know why you're wasting your time. Not you, not the ones that follow me. But um, some of the other people often follow um, yeah, a bunch of liars that say that the park is closed and it's not. But anyways, I want to show you this magnet. First, I'll show you the location where that earthquake was at. It is along a fault zone that has recently been reactivated. This is called the Buffalo Fork Fault. And it runs all the way up to Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, they haven't done a lot of research on this fault zone. And it is one that's an ancient one that's been recently reactivated. Here it says that um, it is part of a thrust fault. Uh, it's been reactivated. This fault is in a remote area and seldom visited by geologists that are experienced in uh, neotectonic evidence of uh, quaternary movement may have been missed because of its older history. The structure may serve to accommodate ongoing tectonic activity. There have been several, and that's a term for recent earthquakes, based on all excursions in the hanging wall of the fault. There was another earthquake recently along this same fault. Let's see, uh, 617 of this year. That would have been June. And then further south, yeah, there's been more down here. I recently reported it. We had a 2.6 and a 2.5. And let's zoom in here, a 2.0. Now that was this month on the 26th. And this one was on the 23rd. So it looks like uh, the motion, maybe the stress is slowly moving up towards uh, Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, this is the location of the recent earthquakes. And yeah, okay, what's this date here? This one was also um, June 7th. The strongest signatures came from Moose Creek, Idaho. And little west thumb you can see here a lot of toxic gases that came up and magma let's look at the seismic signature and see if it is tectonic no this is volcanic we got magma on the move you can see here too within a short period of time there was two other earthquakes which they're not reporting this one has a long p wave on it and so does that one. So very likely it could have happened um, there by the sawtooth. Yeah, I've caught them in the past not reporting the earthquakes over there until the following day. And people evidently even reported to USGS that they did feel it. I don't know. It took them like 24 hours to report them. So maybe that will be the case in this one too. So let's see what this one came in as. This comes in, let me bring it down so you can see it, as a magnitude 2.63. Now this is Moose Creek, Idaho. And the other monitor that comes in fairly strong would be Little West Thumb. And I get, let me bring this down. Bring it down a little bit farther. A magnitude 2.62. So it's pretty close. So it's definitely a 2.6. 
six. Um, but they're not reporting it. Then the other one they're not reporting would be this one here. Um, 1844. That's universal time. Comes in as a magnitude 2.69. Let me bring it down. Okay, this is Moose Creek, Idaho. And then the other one would be Little West Thumb. And that's the same. Exactly the same. 2.69 not being reported 1844 so that would have been at 1244 p.m. there at the park uh, this first one came in at uh, 1239 and then the first one would have been 1232 so all within you know short time of each other I posted this activity on Twitter. I've been watching it for several hours, wondering what it's, it's going to do. Um, let's see. I believe it's either Denny Creek or Moose Creek that's been showing um, screaming. So let's go to Denny Creek, and I'm going to bring this down. Yeah, it was Denny Creek. This is what it's been showing. This is what it was showing when I pulled the file. This is the area that's been showing uh, dike intrusion where it's trying to come up and have an eruption uh, this here is Hedgen Lake this is the monitor right here for Denny Creek let me bring it out uh, Hedgen Lake is where they had that large earthquake um, where a lot of people died the uh, 7.2 in 1959 right there okay so um, 28 minutes after midnight universal time that would have been at 6 28 p.m. local time let's take a look at you know we got three distinct lines of melt oh went off the line sorry about that someone suggested using a ruler <laughs> yeah three distinct lines of melt um, they're up to what is it 28% melt, meaning the rock underneath Yellowstone has pockets of melt. That 28% of the rock under there, where people are walking, um, is melted. Now there's pockets of melt that are only about 600 feet underneath where people are walking. Yes, and they're still open. There's another screaming there. We got some drum beats going on here. You can see how... Um, the line of melt has separated, so the crack opened up and, yeah, went up a little bit farther. Look at that. Yep. And then we got another major intrusion at 15.08. That would have been at 9.08 a.m. Uh, there at the park, local time. Let me close this out and, yeah, look at it all. See it all? Yeah, it's very active through there. Yeah, we can just, yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, nothing to see. Move along. We don't report earthquakes. Uh, we don't report um, that the ground's heating up. Yeah, I wonder if any areas over there, um, trails have been closed because of the heat. I mean, look at this. This is very similar to my last report that I did there at Yellowstone. The next monitor I'm going to show you is Maple Creek. Okay, here we got Denny Creek. And then a little bit farther to the northeast is Maple Creek. Lots of earthquakes. We got one more recent right there. Let's take a look at the signature. It looks tectonic. Nope. Volcanic tremor. Okay. At 045. That would have been at 6.45 p.m. local time there at the park. And then there was that other one, um, 18 minutes after midnight. Let's take a look at that. Again, volcanic tremors. Yeah. Okay, that's the two newest ones. And then there's some others. Double popping, it looks like. Again, double pop, and these are marked in, this one's marked in red. Let's take a look at the spectrogram. 
And then we got some that were earlier. Okay, right there. Let's take a look at the seismic signature. Double popping. This one here is marked in red. Now that one looks like tectonic. Yeah, the fault moving because of the pressure. Okay, there's another one marked in red. Oh, boy, I went really small in that one, didn't I? Or too large, I should say. That is uh, a mix between tectonic and volcanic, I would guess. Another one marked in red. Volcanic. And another one marked in red. That one, oh, that's going little on me, isn't it? Okay, right there. And let's look at the spectrogram. Back to the signature. And that's tectonic. All right, let's take a look at little west thumb or west thumb. I'll bring this down here a little bit. See what it was showing when I pulled the files. Looks a little quiet. We got a couple little small. Oh, look at that. Yeah, popping. Yeah. Yeah, the fault line's moving. That's tectonic or the fault moving. Um, because of the uh, pressure of the magma coming up. Um, pushing, making that fault move. We got some more little stuff here. Again, same thing. Tectonic. And we'll come up. Not bad. It doesn't look too bad there at Yellowstone Lake, which is good. What well, we got there? See, that one's volcanic. Magma on the move. Probably tomorrow we'll see um, more magma intrusion at Yellowstone Lake. Let's see. Earlier we had blobs of magma coming in at Moose Creek, Idaho. It's like, oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, and we got several marked in red. Okay, let's see if I can find them right there. Yeah, pulsating. The, the hose, I guess you can say, is the best scenario. Um, yeah, boom, 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 as it broke through the rock. See the little pillows, layers of pillows through there? And then there's some more there. And I more see. there. Really? And if I can find that. Yeah, just all kinds of activity. This is 531 Universal Time. I don't know if you can hear my grandson in the background. He's saying it's spicy pillows. So spicy that it's melting the rock. Yeah, now this would have been, I was going to tell you the time. At 1131 a.m. yesterday. Yeah, it just, look at all this stuff. Okay, we'll just come down a little bit. Yeah, Moose Creek, Idaho. That's by actually by the west entrance. Okay, and then it settled down, or they changed the settings. One or the other. We got a little quake there. And then earlier. Yeah. Right, going back to the Google map. Let me bring this down. I got, you don't need to see that. Here's Yellowstone Lake. Here's Moose Creek, Idaho, and I've talked about the unzipping when it unzipped, yeah, 350 some thousand years ago, how it unzipped and did a counterclockwise rotation of the, think of a zipper, and yeah, all the different eruptions that came, and when it got down here by Heart Lake, which is over here, um, that's when the two resurgent domes collapsed. The Sour Creek Resurgent Dome and the Mallard Lake, which is what you see on the uh, live webcam for Old Faithful, they collapse at the same time. So that is the monitor right there showing this activity. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to check the solar flares because when we have solar flares, yeah, they definitely cause earthquakes. Um, looks like everything's been about um, in the seas. Yeah, we got, I don't know if you can see it, C3, 3, 4, C8, C6. So for the last 24 hours, it's only been sea flares. 
we only have three sunspot areas which possibly could be earth directed um, 3394 and 3395 3397 doesn't look too significant I don't know what's coming around um, the rim so it very well could remain calm for the next two to three days it's currently 9.05 p.m. Central Daylight Time, which would make it 8.05 p.m. there at the park. Yeah, so that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put them down below. Thank you very much for your support for my work. Oh, look at that. That one's really steaming, isn't it? Thank you for the cups of coffee. Yeah, i got to check it here. Looks like I'm almost out. i got to refill my cup. Um, please stay safe. Always be prepared. Yeah, have a bug out bag with all your important documents, passports if you have one of those, insurance paper, medical um, documents, you know, for health insurance, things like that. That is really steaming. I don't think I've seen that area um, go like that in quite a while. Anyways. Um, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.